Welcome back to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. We're going to use the Love Triangle Oracle deck. Once I finish shuffling, I will turn down the music. Let's get into this energy. I hope everybody is doing well. Make sure you push that like button. Subscribe to my channel would be greatly appreciated. Let me sit over. Let me go over the um, services that I provide really quick, and then we'll jump into the reading. Okay. I provide a protection bubble that covers you with the blood of Jesus. It prevents any harm, danger, or evil coming towards you for 90 days for $22. I also have a family protection bubble bundle, which is for one adult and up to four children. We still got to keep our children protected against molestation, abuse, bullying, 
um, generational curses, being around the wrong crowds. That protection bubble will come in handy when you're not around your children, okay? It will do extra protection, and that's guaranteed, okay? Also, I do cord cutting, which severs any ties to any unhealthy, toxic narcissists, ex-lovers, toxic family members, divine masculine, karmic masculine, co-workers, neighbors, anybody that you need to sit up here and detach and cut the cord on to be able to go in your life feeling lighter, feeling better, and not holding on to no more trauma and um, cancerous people, okay? You know, and um, that, is, that service is $55 to be able to cut the cord. I also do reversal spell work. I can um, remove um, curses, voodoo, hexes, any type of black magic spell work that has been done on you. I can send it back to sender right away. If you need to speak to me for an emergency for any reason whatsoever, I have a service that I reach out to you for an hour and 11 minutes for $99.99. If you do not have any money and you need special prayer, please leave in detail of what you need the special prayer to be with be about in the comments or reach out to me through my email and you could be able to leave in detail of what you need the special prayer to be about and I will also put you in the special prayer book. My email is innocencetarot at gmail.com. Once again, that's innocencetarot at gmail.com. Okay, please push that like button. It don't take nothing but a minute to bless me. Boop. And there it go. Okay, and please subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so let's get into this energy. Okay, so it looked like Divine Masculine, okay, currently, okay, is feeling guilty. Okay, he feeling real guilty and he into it with the karmic presently. Okay, because he been out here lying to the karmic, been out here messing around with other women, hanging out, doing things he ain't got no business doing. Okay, and now he feels guilty about the different things that he been sitting up here doing. The karmic then found out that this masculine, okay, has been sitting up here hanging out. Okay, with a cold worker, drinking alcohol after hours, okay, and been having a sexual relationship with a co-worker, okay, this is what he's been sitting up here doing after work, okay, he been sitting up here having secret getaways, staying out late at night, okay, after work, hanging out with a co-worker, okay, sitting up here starting another karmic relationship right up under the karmic's nose, okay, and the karmic knows all about what's been going on okay the karmic know about the plot twist divine masculine hold on divine masculine he very upset he feeling extra guilty at the present moment because the karmic then found out what he's sitting up here doing and she wants revenge okay she feels some type of way, okay, that the masculine was sitting up here having a straight affair, hanging out, doing what he wanted to do, lying to her, okay, mistreating her, having sex with other women because she was codependent on him, okay? Now the masculine is sitting up here feeling guilty, all in his feelings, knowing that he done fucked up yet again. The karmic want him out of her house. She no longer wants to sit up here and be with the masculine, and she wants revenge, okay? She tired, okay? She done had enough of the masculine sitting up here lying, okay, and sitting up here sleeping with other women, okay, she done had enough, okay, and it's a whole lot of gossip that's going on, okay, about what this masculine be out here doing after hours, okay, the masculine feels like he made a mistake, okay, this is what his answer to it all is, is that he made a mistake, he wished that he wasn't sitting up here sleeping with a co-worker, okay, and he feel, and he, well, at least he pretending, or he might sit up here and feel real hurt that he was sitting up here cheating on this karmic, okay, he always cheating on this karmic, okay, but it looked like the latest blow is that he was sitting up here sleeping with a co-worker. The masculine continue to sit up here and leave the karmic all the time with the child that they got, okay? 
always leaving her, okay? Why he out here sitting up here fucking other bitches after work, okay? And she feels some type of fucking way about it, okay? She rem- she remembers all those days and nights when the masculine wasn't coming home, when he was acting funny, when she was stuck at home and everything else, okay? And she even put two and two together. She knows the truth, okay? And everything is out in the open, okay? Divine Masculine said that he feels guilty about sitting up here sleeping with this co-worker after hours, okay? He say he feel guilty, okay? But it looked like the person that he was sitting up here sleeping with, okay? The one that he was sitting up here having sex with at work. Okay, look like she could be sitting up here pregnant. Okay, who he was sitting up here having sex with at his job. Okay, this is why this karmic is feeling some type of way. She feeling extra um, upset, angry, and she wants revenge. Okay, she done told Divine Masculine. Okay that she set up here, want him to get out of her house. She want a divorce. She telling him she going to take him for everything that he got, telling him he going to never see his children anymore. It's all type of shit going on, okay? But Divine Master brought that shit on his fucking self, okay? Always fucking around, always doing some shit. And it just looks like the karmic done had enough. This is her breaking point, okay? Knowing that this co-worker, okay, that he was hanging out with drinking fucking after hours that she pregnant, okay? That's her breaking point. And to find out that this bitch is sitting up here pregnant too, okay? And you know how this karmic likes to look good for for um social media and family and everything else, okay? Everybody gossiping, talking about this shit, okay? And she feels some type of way about it, okay? And she said that she done had her breaking point, that she sit up here and wants a divorce, okay? She want a divorce because she tired of divine masculine sitting up here cheating on her. He won't stop cheating. He won't stop lying. He won't change. Okay. And she's seeing that she done got the same man that you had. Okay. Ain't nothing going to change because divine masculine got an addiction. A sexual addiction is just like any other addiction. He can't help himself. Okay. He got a problem. Okay. Loving to sit up here and fuck. That's all he liked to do, okay? It looked like she didn't have enough, okay, of it all, okay? It looked like Divine Masculine, okay? He was, he, he very, he said that he was very unhappy, okay, in his marriage, okay? And this is the reason why he was sitting up here cheating on his wife, okay? It looked like he was caught in the act, looked like she done found out some type of information, looked like she could have sat up here been stalking him. It looked like something, I don't know how she found out, but she do know the truth of what the masculine been sitting up here doing, okay? Always getting caught up in some coochie, okay? Mm Mm-hmm. And this karmic wants revenge, okay? She wants revenge, okay, for this um, pregnancy, okay? She upset that everybody talking about this shit. She very embarrassed, okay? And she wants to divine masculine to pay in the worst way. She want him out of her fucking house. She want a divorce, and she plans on hurting him in every way that she think that she can, okay? Divine Maxim kept on cheating on her, okay? Mm-mm. Divine Maxim just don't, he just, he just don't get it, okay? While she's sitting up here home with they child and married to him and everything, he at the hour sitting up here um, beating somebody's back out and shit while she left at home with the kid, having to go for that bullshit because he paid the bills, okay? It sucks being codependent on somebody when you got to sit up here and take the bullshit that they dish out just because you need their help or you or the, or you are you guys have financial responsibilities or whatever together. OK, and Divine Masculine took full advantage of this karmic, was able to be out here having other sexual relationships. Fucking he got so comfortable till he start fucking bitches at the job. OK. Knowing that this karmic could never, ever really break up with him because she need him to pay them bills, okay? And he out here getting loose as a goose, okay? Selling his soul for a jelly roll, okay? Out here loving to get his 
tallywhack is sucked on, fucked and everything, okay? All fucked and sucked out, all he liked to do, okay? And now he done sat up here and got this um this girl fucking pregnant, okay? Just being reckless, just being out here, just doing the most, and okay? And now she feels stupid. Reap what you sow, okay? Some, how you get them is how you lose them, okay? And on top of that, it's a baby, okay, into the situation, okay? And now it looked like since she knows that Divine Masculine was sitting up here cheating, okay, it looked like she's starting to cheat and she got a secret lover on the side too, okay? They both out here getting loose as a goose. He was betraying her. She's sitting up here fucking around on him as well. He feeling some type of way that she cheating, okay? She don't care that she his wife, okay? She said, and he done got somebody pregnant. Okay, she feel like she can do whatever she wants to do right now, and she is. She out here getting loose as a goose, too, okay? And they got the nerve to be married, okay? The karmic is insecure of what Divine Masculine be out here doing, and he's sitting up here not knowing that she cheating, too. They both doing this shit, okay? And the house divided ain't gonna fucking stand, okay? They both out here cheating, okay? Mm-hmm. Show is, and she out here sitting up here putting her red pumps on, shaking her ass out here with a secret lover, getting her back beat out too. Okay, she ain't innocent. Okay, both cheating, both betraying each other. Okay, both of them are, and now it looked like divine masculine. He feels some type of way now, knowing that she was sitting up here. Um flirting and dealing with somebody else and everything that he want to sit up here and move away from her okay he can dish it out but he can't sit up here and take it okay he can also be sitting up here moving away okay because the karmic Okay, could have been sitting up here fucking around and cheating on him, and he she could be the one that's fucking pregnant. Okay, either Divine Maston got somebody pregnant and she pregnant too, or both of them could be pregnant. Okay, he could have got his little mistress pregnant and she could be pregnant too, or it's just a karmic pregnant. Okay, but he moving on, feeling some type of way, knowing that some information that came out about her. Okay. Divine Masculine, he always out here acting like he's single, okay? All he do is be out here flirting, winking and blinking, being charming, always know the right things to say, always got the lick of the panty dropper, okay? Always got some drink and some smoke or whatever else to make these bitches drop them panties, okay? He always got the panty dropper kit with him, okay? Always flirting, winking, and blinking, okay? Mm-hmm. And he continues to be out here being unrequited. He continues to keep being out here meeting up with these random-ass bitches on the rebound, trying to sit up here and fill the void of you no longer in his life, Divine Feminine. He out here having reckless sex, fucking people, making more mistakes, just out here doing the most, okay? Out here pretending, Okay, like he's single with his ugly ass friends and he's somebody whole husband. Like he just live a double life, okay? He always out here doing some shit he ain't got no business doing and so does this karmic, okay? They both walking on eggshells. They both ain't seeing the red flags within each other. They both codependent, okay? But they both be sitting up here strategizing, okay, on what the hell, okay, is going to sit up here and keep the bills going, what's going to get paid, okay, that's all she care about, even though she got a baby, even though she's, he keep cheating on her, she still expects those bills to be paid, okay, mm-hmm, divine masculine going through so much, he don't know if you done heard that he done got a baby on the way, or you know that the karmic is pregnant, okay? But he finna reach out to call you. He really don't want to call you, but he can't take it no more. He first gonna send you a text message, and he gonna call you too. He gonna sit up here and want to tell you how guilty he feel, how he made the worst mistake on fucking over you, okay? 
And he also going to sit up here and reach out to you to see if you didn't heard any gossip about him sitting up here fucking around with other bitches. OK, this is what he wants to know. OK, have you heard anything in these streets? OK, because he really want to sit up here and come and reconcile with you. OK, but don't know what you know. OK. Mm. Ooh, divine feminine, you should be very happy that you got back in your power and you made your divine masculine be your ex because he out here just all over the fucking place, okay? He all out here sitting up here sleeping with his co-workers. He can't even go to work without thinking about sex, okay? He all out here wanting to fuck everywhere he fucking go, okay? Just a wild dog out here just doing the most, okay? Just ball juice for everybody, okay? And he don't feel no shame about it. Like, do you really want to sit up here and reconcile with your divine masculine and he's still in this energy? Mm -mm. Okay, no. Who want a man that you always got to worry about if they're going to be out here fucking? Who wants to sit up here and deal with shit like this on an everyday basis? Okay, just let's say, yeah, you did want to reconcile. You reconcile, he's still going to be doing this dumb ass shit, okay? And you might end up sitting up here sticking a damn fork in his fucking throat because you're tired of the bullshit. It's best you don't go back to his ass because he ain't changed. He got a lot of work, okay? Mm-hmm. He always lusting. He always want to fuck, but yeah, he want to reconcile to be able to still keep control over you, to make sure that you don't move ahead, to be able to keep a good girl to the side. Mm-hmm. You thought wrong, Divine Masculine. Okay. And yeah, Divine Femina know all the gossip. Okay. She knew it before it was even said. Okay. But yeah, him and the karmic, they over there going through the motions. They over there sitting up here on their last leg over there with all type of drama. Okay. Mm hmm. But they open marriage. Okay. And she got the nerve to be mad. And that's the way that she met him. Okay. Knew that he was her hoe. Okay. Knew that he was somebody's man when she came around. And now she can't believe that he out here still being a hoe. Mm -mm, you better thank that fucking karma. Like, thank you, bitch. Because he can't play them type of games with you, divine film. You better thank that hoe. Mm -mm. Okay. Hmm. The karmic and divine masculine not speaking, okay? Because divine masculine caught feelings or she didn't caught feelings with somebody else, okay? Everybody know what's going on, okay? Or divine masculine ain't sitting up here talking to the co-worker no more, okay? Because she caught feelings, okay? Hmm... Divine Feminine, you might find out that you blocked or you might finna sit up here and block somebody, okay? And you also finna sit up here and be going on romantic dates and moving forward with your life, okay? You tired of dealing with Divine Master and his bullshit? Mm-mm. Hell no. Divine Masculine and the Karmic, they be over there arguing in front of their kids, okay? They could have a daughter together, okay? They both over there unhappy. Feeling like she got to make a decision, okay? Divine Masculine, he might sit up here, be trying to move in, okay? With a new bitch, okay? Who knows, okay? But what I do know is that this karmic is very upset because she know that Divine Masculine was out here having an affair. She very embarrassed. She upset. And the only card that she could sit up here and pull right now is that she want a divorce in order to keep face right now, okay? Because Divine Masculine got her over looking stupid, goofy, Okay, she in her feelings, okay, and feeling stupid, okay, knowing all that Divine Masculine been out here in these streets doing, okay, she pissed off to the max, she want revenge out this world, okay, she over there making his life a living fucking hell, okay, now that this affair then came to light, okay. Mm -hmm. At first, she was in denial, okay? Looked like she could have sat up here, had an unexpected visitor. Maybe the, who the co-worker or who he was sleeping with could have sat up here and came to the house and told it that made her as depressed and in sadness about the situation, 
okay? Now she realizing that divine masculine ain't going to never change. The relationship is toxic, knowing that he always going to put her in a third party situation as well. She was in denial, thinking that she was somebody different, thinking that he was going to do right by her just because he lived with her or married her. OK, that's what she thought, but she thought wrong. OK. Mm -hmm. And it looked like another bitch could have came and told her about what divine, what was going on between her and divine masculine. OK. Mm -hmm. And that's when all hell broke loose when whoever came to that house. OK. Mm -hmm. When she found out about that fucking affair and found out the divine masculine was out here sitting up here fucking this bitch, okay? And this is recent information, okay? Divine masculine right now is in the hot seat, okay? Even though the karmic out here shaking and baking too, but this is some recent information, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Divine Masculine over there in that house sitting up here walking on eggshells, knowing he done made a mistake, don't know what this karmic is going to sit up here and do next. He's starting to see all the red flags, okay? He know he in danger, okay? Ooh, Divine Masculine, you just don't stop. See, and Divine Masculine, he all, he the great manipulator, okay? Always sitting up here going to the fucking hotels and always liking to get his fuck on. Breaking promises, pulling the strings, okay? Mm-mm-mm. But that's her karma, okay? Not knowing that Divine Masculine was manipulating and using her the whole time, too. Okay, for stability, codependent, whatever, car, name on the car, whatever the hell he needed. Okay, mm-hmm. That divine masculine could care, care two dams and three fucks about her ass. He having an affair, he at the room enjoying his time, okay, ain't even sitting up here giving a damn about her, okay, was doing all this shit all up in her fucking face, okay. Why he was sitting up here manipulating the whole situation the whole time, okay? Out here sitting up here flirting and shit, okay? Manipulating all these bitches, okay? When he don't give a damn about nobody, okay? But see, your divine master, he real charming. He know how to charm them panties off, okay? He sure do. He sure do. And he love being in unrequited ass relationships where he can sit up here and hit and go. Okay. He love doing meetups and being with the, with, um, making people rebounds and meeting up with random ass bitches. Okay. He don't give a damn. Okay. Divine masculine. Don't you got an STD? Okay. And if you don't, you better slow it down before you do. Because is this the reason why he out here fucking all these bitches just don't care? Because his health is bad and he want to hurt everybody else too? Okay, we don't know why Divine Masculine is so greedy. But he greedy. He greedy. Okay, and now she angry. Okay, now she angry. She upset because her perfect little family and that perfect little illusion that she loved to sell people, making like Divine Masculine so happy with her and their family when he all out here sitting up here fucking. And you know what the worst thing about it is? She mad that you going to end up hearing about it, Divine Family. Oh, she don't want you to know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> She don't want you to know. She don't want you to know. Okay. Ooh. And Divine Masculine, he feel trapped in the in the relationship. Okay. Because of them kids he got with her ass. Okay. He can't even act right. Okay. He always doing some shit. Okay. Mm-mm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. So if. Okay, and he don't even, and, and he know that the karmic sitting up here dealing with people too. Okay, she got people coming to the house too. She peeping outside too. She an unworthy ass bitch too. Okay, they both getting their karma in different ways. They both out here being hoes. Okay, mm hmm. Or divine feminine, 
your divine master gonna come to your house and you gonna peep through that peephole, okay? Your divine master is stalking you, watching you, and might come to your house, okay? You might look through that peephole and not even answer the door, okay? Mm-hmm. Hmm. They over there fighting. They over there arguing. That little picture perfect family that they over there pretending. Get real. Get real. Ain't nobody buying that bullshit, karmic. Okay? You got a dog and we know it. Okay? Over there unhappily married, going through the motions and shit. Always want to play the victim with all these different bitches. That's what Divine Mask going to be over there doing. Acting like his marriage is so not good. He's so unhappily married. And these bitches fall for the bullshit. He be making them bitches think that he going to get a divorce and how bad it is. And he be starting all these different relationships. So just in case they find out that he's married, it won't be a shock. So that's why he's telling these bitches that he unhappily married. And um, only reason he stays before his family and his kids. Okay. Mm. But he really is unhappily married, though. He really is. He'd rather be single, but he just he just like the fact that um this karmic um he's codependent on this karmic. She codependent on him. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, and he's stuck in this relationship because they got financial ties together. They married. Okay, they got a lot of little different things. Okay, his her name could be on the apartment. Her name could be on his car. Okay, all type of shit on how this karmic made sure that no matter what he do, he still got to be financially tied to her. And she made sure that she set up here and secured the bag with the kids. Okay, and he's stuck if he wants to be. Okay, but is she still angry? Okay, she really angry. Okay, because everybody is sitting up here gossiping about what's going on in their household and that picture perfect ass family portrait that she loves to make everybody believe ain't ain't she, it, she can't stand on motherfucking ten toes with that no more. Okay. And she mad about it. Mm hmm Perfect Patty mad, okay? On how she like to pretend. Okay. But yeah, that's what the 411 is. Divine Masculine out here sitting up here having affairs. He out here sitting up here getting caught up in some pussy as usual, having affairs, meeting up with bitches, okay, and can't stand the karmic, okay? This is the 411 on what's going on in their relationship. It's barely standing, okay? It's barely standing, okay? And Divine Masculine, he over there pretending like he feels so guilty so she can feel good, okay? Knowing damn well that he's still going to be out here sitting up here fucking bitches, okay? He got a coochie problem. He got a coochie problem. Divine Masculine, mm -mm. can you climb out the pussy for a minute to do right? Please do. Please, Divine Masculine. Please climb out of it. Woo! But yeah, that's what the 411 is, y'all. I'll be back with another reading. I love you guys. Bye.